So, today we're going to look at some purple amethyst that I bought. That's what I bought it as it's sold as amethyst. These are little crystals, uh, eight, five carats. Okay. Not a one of them has any hexagonal shape to it. Not one. Um, amethyst is quartz. Quartz has um, a hexagonal crystal symmetry. Okay. Quartz has lines of striation, like that's what you're seeing there. Striations of crystal growth faces. Okay. And they grow along the crystallographic lines within the crystal structure. Okay? And diamonds show it very clearly on every face. And they go in the three axial directions. And look at that. Man. Diamonds also have faces. Because... Um, I think they're people, or were, once upon a time. And so, what we have here is not, in fact, amethyst at all. It is a diamond, and they're actually pretty darn good little diamonds. They're, they're, they're little, but they're really nice. They're clear, and... Uh -oh. <laughs> And you can throw them around, and and they are quite um, beautiful, actually, and fun to look at. At least I enjoy it. Look at that. See those lines going that way? <laughs> Quartz doesn't do that <laughs> ever, not even once. And see these go the other way. How about that, because. <laughs> Because it goes like this, in a sort of chevron, along this axial line, which makes uh, the opposite side, over here, the z-axis. And so we could cut this, see how the quartz, I mean the crystal lights up there, full of light all of a sudden. Getting those rainbows in there and stuff. Look at that. Cause I've got it on the on the Z axis. X Y is the horizontal axis, and Z is the vertical axis. And it's not always the tallest one. Eh? Not always this way and this way. In this case, it's this way and this way. And what I look for, see this right here? This is part of that crystal growth and structure. It forms like, a, like the corner of a box, kind of. And you can see all three crystallographic axes at that one junction. Right? There. That's the Z axis. That's the bottom of the Z axis. This is the bottom of the Z axis, I think. Anyway, that's what you look for. It, 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 it's the lines on these crystals show me it's not quartz, and of course there's no there's no hexagonal symmetry at all. Uh, in fact, most people wouldn't find any symmetry on these at all. You have to sort of be a, um, a rock nut like me with thousands of hours of experience to be able to spot this stuff. Because I know what I'm looking at. I'm not guessing.
just was asked why I might need a hardness testing kit, an accurate hardness testing kit. Why would I need accurate tools to do science, do you think? That gentleman who asked the question had no idea what science was or what any of the other shit he was asking about was. Because um, I don't know what he was, but uh, mostly he was here to disrupt my group and my posts. There, there are, there seems to be... Uh, kind of a constant battle with that going on and it's almost like um, agent provocateurs I don't know possibly I'm paranoid but it seems like every time I start talking about something some dickhead comes along and says all kinds of shit that other people don't know anything about and I spend all my time trying to talk to that one idiot, and they don't care what the answers are. What they care about is spreading questions about my science. Because you guys, most of you guys, don't know. You wouldn't know good science from bad science. And you wouldn't know any science if it bit you on the foot, most of you, because you watch television instead of doing science like I do. And I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be rude about that, but it does not teach you anything except how to be a passive observer. That's what television teaches. Now this is interesting. See, you can see the three axes of the crystal structure right here. This is that, that part of the crystal that shows the z-axis right here. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. And they go in the directions in the, of the crystal growth in, the, in those axes, the X, Y, and Z. And they meet. The Z axis is where they meet. Boom, at that pyramid. And one over here on this side. And, and as it turns out, these broad sides on these crystals are exactly the right way to cut them. And that way they light up inside. See that? See how it's lighting up inside? It didn't cut that. It's bouncing off the facets, the natural facets in the crystal. And catching the light and holding it. Because that's what diamonds do.